Hey guys, Andrew here, and this is going to be a COLL tutorial. Now, I'm making this because, as far as I know, there's only one other on YouTube. Um, there might be more now, but when I was learning, there was only one other on YouTube. And it wasn't actually that great. Like, the algorithms and stuff, they weren't the best, in my opinion. And he didn't show algorithms on the screen. But other than that, it was pretty decent. But I'm going to correct those two problems, or at least in my opinion, correct them because I'm going to give you what I think are better algorithms. And I'm going to show them all on the screen, make it easier to learn. So yeah, let's get to it. Now, some of you might not know what COLL is. Now, I'll give an explanation of that. So what with COLL, you're going to be, um, take any cross case on the top layer, and you're going to simultaneously solve your OLL and permute your corners. So it'll, it'll always give you either a U perm, an H perm, or a Z perm all of which are very easy algorithms to do. Or, there's actually a 1 in 12 chance of a PLL skip happening. And that's always nice. Let's start with um, what I believe is the H case. Um, they all have a cross, of course. And this one you're going to recognize by these pairs of headlights. Um, you'll have two on either side, and you'll hold it between them. So you got two there, two there. That's how you recognize this one. Now the way we're going to recognize the COLL case for this is by looking at these top stickers only. So, as you can see here, this one you recognize as two of the same color in front, two of the same on back. Um, and this algorithm is basically it's a double soon. It's R U R prime U, R U prime R prime U, R U two R prime. Now of course I'll do that again in a little bit slower. R U R prime U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U2, R prime. And that was on the screen, of course, so you can read that. But now let's get to the next case. Alright, this case is very similar to the last one. Again, it's the H case. And this time we've got two bars, except instead of being horizontal like this, they are vertical. That's how I remember this one. And for this, we're going to use an algorithm that a lot of you probably know. And so we're going to do a U prime to get into position. Then we're going to do F, R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime, F prime. So again, a little bit slower. That's U prime, F, R U R prime U prime, three times. That's sexy three times. Then F prime. And I'm sure a lot of you already know that one as well as the last one. And the next stage case, we got, of course, the headlights. And this time we only got one bar of color, as I say, um, and that is going to be vertical to you. That's how you recognize this one. So you can see I've got two different colors here, and then two of the same here, vertical to you, at least if you like draw a line. So for this one we're going to do this algorithm, R U R prime U, R U L prime U, R prime U prime L. Now that one's very a very good algorithm, I'll just do it again. And as you can see, it's really fast. It's one that not a lot of people know about for this H case. Like, hardly, I don't think anyone really uses that as their OLL, but it's still a very good algorithm. And the next algorithm. This one you're going to recognize as horizontal bar. It's an easy algorithm. It's F, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U, 2, R prime, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Do that again a little bit slower. F, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U, 2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And I'll put that again, you know where it is, right on the screen right there, so you can read that if you couldn't follow that. And I'll do it one more time to show you what it looks like a little bit faster. All right. On to the next COLL case. This is called the pie case. Because if you trace these, they kind of come down and out. And it kind of looks like a pie. Like the symbol pie in math. I don't know. It's just what it's called. Um, so the way you're going to recognize these is a lot like the last one. Um, only looking at the top corner colors. Um, so yeah, here's what the case is from all angles, just in case you don't know. And alright, so for this one we're going to recognize by having a bar of color right here. And those two are different. 
So if you get it like this, hold it from this angle and do this algorithm, which is the one that I'm pretty sure everybody uses for this case already. R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. Again, R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R prime, R, not R prime. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's the one everyone uses, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Now for sort of the opposite of that one, um, bar of color is on the other side, the left. Um, you're going to have just nothing here, different colors. Um, so what we're going to do here is, this is probably the one of the toughest algorithms, but it's actually pretty easy once you learn it. It's F, R2, U prime, R, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R prime, U, R2, F prime. So I'll do that again. F, R2, U prime, R, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R prime, U, R2, F prime. Now, um, that one's actually not too difficult to memorize. If you just remember it in those print, like, in terms of those parentheses on the screen, those, those will show you the easy ways to remember it. And now for one of the easiest cases to recognize, you're going to have two vertical bars. Um, so this one's pretty easy. It's just R prime, U, L, U prime, R, U prime, L prime, U prime, L, U prime, L prime. I'll show you that again. R prime, U, L, U prime, R, U prime, L prime, U prime, L, U prime, L prime. Very easy. Now for a pretty fun case. I call this one diagonal because it has the pairs of colors are diagonal from each other. Um, not too difficult to recognize. Also, you might call it an X case, maybe. I don't know. So the algorithm for this case is going to be R, U, then that's either a Y or a Y prime. I don't remember. I'll have that in the algorithm. Then R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. I actually really like that one. If you get good at it, you can do it fast like this. That was actually kind of slow, but you get the idea. Now it's time for two cases that are actually very similar to each other. and They have very similar algorithms as well as very similar ways to recognize them. So each of these has just one bar, so to speak, and it's at a diagonal. The only difference is which side it's on. I'm just going to kind of have to learn to recognize this. Um, the way I remember this algorithm is each one starts with a cube rotation, and you cube rotate towards the corner that's closest to you. So, for this one, we've got the corner right here, so we cube rotate like that, and for this one, we've got the corner right here, so we cube rotate like that. That's how I remember the two. But anyway, let's just get on with it. Showing you this one, it's cube rotate towards that corner, and then you do R prime, U2, R, U, R prime, U prime, R2, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. So, again, that's, you'll rotate towards the corner and then do R prime, U2, R, U, R prime, U, R2. And that's almost like an anti soon from a different angle. Then U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, <laughs> L. Then you're done. Sounds pretty easy. On to the next case. So for this one, we're going to cube rotate towards that corner. And then we're going to do R, U, 2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R2, U, L, U prime, R, U, L prime. And there you go. So I've decided to stop after those 10 cases. Um, I'll show you the other 18 that you're going to, that I know in my next video. As I said, I don't use soon or anti soon, so if you want to learn those, you're going to have to look elsewhere. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And yeah, drop a like if it helped you. And thank you all for watching. You'll see me on my next video.